in this video I'm going to go over Excel homework 2.1 GPA and I didn't uh, assign it just yet because I only wanted to show you uh, what you have for the first uh, due date uh, but I'm, I'm gonna be able to do this by uh, let's say preview so I won't be able to submit it um, in this video to see if I get 8 out of 8 but I remember this one was a, a kind of a quick one so let me go over this um, you know how to download the Excel file. Let me try again. So um, when it pops up in your assignment tab, you want to click on download material, the first question. Let me start again because we're still in the kind of... So you want to open the assignment and I'm just previewing it right now, but you'll see something like this. Um, reflection is going on your question number two, but you click on chapter one nine GPA. And then when this window pops up, you want to download the materials. And like I said, I only just download the Excel file. So once I got it downloaded, um, I know mine goes to my download folder. I'll open it. I will open it. And then it looks like this. After I'm done, I will come back and upload completed document. And I'll, I, won't, well, I won't be able to see because my math lab won't grade it until I publish it or uh, assign it to you guys. But I'll go over this uh, in this video. I don't think it's going to be too long. All right, let's see. In this problem, you will calculate the grade point average GPA using the student grade data. You will also provide the result as a column chart. Okay, let's try that. So oops, start Excel, download, and um, open the workbook name, Chapter 1-9, GPA Start. It open, so we're done, and you don't have to put orange highlight I'm doing, but I just, as soon as I'm completing each step, so I just kind of mark it. All right, step number two, in cell F7, calculate the quality point for calculus one. Fill cell F7 down the column to cell F11. Now, by the time you guys are working on this Excel, you know exactly what, um, this means by quality points because we'll go over this on um, section 2.2 .2. all right let's find a quality point for calculus one over here in f7 now notice calculus was a four credit class and you know unlike nova i guess um this student whoever wherever the student is they're using minus and plus system uh nova you know we only use like a b c d so the, the, the quality points or the four point scale goes to like four three two one but well they made a minus so a minus was 3.67 so the quality point will be remember that you type in an equal sign first right to c7 times and c7 because it's that's where the four credit is saved and then multiply that by what? E7. So you multiply the number of credits times the four-point scale. And that's how you find the quality points. Hit enter. You should see 14.7. Now, this quality point, I mean, if you want to find the quality point for writing one, you'll do four times two. If you want to find the quality point for theater, you will do three times 3.33. But what I can do is I can just go ahead and you see, we talked about using this fill, fill handle. Uh, when I put my mouse over this, right bottom corner my mouse cursor changes and i'm going to just bring it all the way down to um f11 i'm not going to go down to total though okay so let it go Ta -da. so if i double click this to see what they did they did two times four times two um they also did three times three three they did four times three and this one is two times one that's exactly what i wanted so i am done finding the finding the quality points so what we did was we filled out f7 as equal sign c7 times e7 you can type it or you can click it like i did and then all i did was i just used that fill function and just copy the formula down back i am done with step number two let's read step number three in step three in cell of C12, they want you to calculate the total quality points. I'll do that and I will also take care of step four too. Um, C12, we're finding the total credit. C F12, we're calculating the total quality points. And I'm gonna do that using the function called sum function. We do know that sum means answer to an addition. So if I want to find total credit, I want to add up all the number of credits, right? So over here, this student took four plus four plus three plus four plus two. So I'm just going to add them up, okay? So the sum function goes like this. Type in an equal sign and then type in S-U-M 
And then, well, I've been using it before, but if you never use it, you're not going to see it under most recently used, but you will see a function called sum, S-U-M. If you click on it, it's going to open a parenthesis. You can type this if you want. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select my range, which is going to be from C7 all the way down to the golf class, C11. So I really just selected it. You don't have to use your mouse. You can actually type this exact same thing. Equal sign, sum, open parenthesis, C7, and what do you call this? Is it colon? Um, and then C11. So what we are telling Excel to do is we're telling them to sum up or add of all the numbers in C7 to C11. And if you hit enter, ta-da, this student took 17 credits. And now I'm being just, um, I want to double check it. I want to double check the math. So I'm doing 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2. They add up to 17. So this is how you can use the sum function. And we will use this more later as we're going to use more than just some function but that's step number three um and i'm going to go on to step number four this time we're calculating the total quality points total means add them all up together right so same thing over here in f12 double click the cell type an equal sign and do sum for the sum function and this time what i want to add up together are saved in well we're typed in f7 down to f11 F7 to F11 is my range. If I add them all up together, I should get 46.7. Now I'm going to double check. And you don't have to double check, but I'm just 14.7 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 2. They add up to 46.7. So the sum function works like that. You just type in equal sign, sum, open parenthesis, and you give them the range, first cell that you want to start adding. A colon and then the last cell that you want to add close the parenthesis hit enter you will be able to find the sum of those numbers so we're done with step number four now we want to calculate the GPA now this is a weighted average that we talk that we will talk about in section 2.2 now weighted average or the GPA is simply going to be the quotient of the total quality points and the total number of credits so we're gonna divide 46.7 by 17. So and in the, the GPA uh, box in E14, type an equal sign. Click on F12. That's where the total quality points are. And type in divided by or that fraction bar or that, that slash. And then click on C12 and hit enter. What's the GPA? 2.75. Well, well I guess the student got like C in the writing and what D in golf. So, okay, so the GPA came out to be 2.75. If you didn't get 2.75, well, you should go back and double check your numbers, okay, or your formulas. So we are done with step number five, and I think we're almost done. We just got to insert a cluster column chart. So what, where, um, of what? Uh, in cells D21 to K36, now they're usually just talking about that blue area. Uh -huh. So once we make a clustered column chart, we're just going to dump it right there in this blue area. But what's the range that we have to click on or select? Um, show quality points by each course. So, okay. Now, you may want to write this down or just have it in your notebook. They want you to select B7 to B11 and F7 to F11. Okay, so I'm probably going to take a picture of this range on my cell phone so that when I go to my question sheet, I know exactly which range to click on. Okay, I got it uh, on my phone. Okay, so and then we're after selecting that range, we're going to go to recommended charts and we will click on clustered column and it'll apply style number four on the design tab. I'll do that much and then I'll come back and read the second part, okay? So go to the question sheet. And let me click on, and I got my, I'm, I'm reading from my cell phone picture. They want it B7 to B11. B7 is, okay. So starting from calculus all the way down to golf. I selected that much. And then now we need to go to F7 to F11. F is, okay. Now, because I'm selecting two range, uh, I am holding down my command key on my MacBook. Okay, you may have to hold down your control key. Um. Holding down my command key, I'm selecting F7 down to F11 so that I got B7 to B11 and F7 to B11, F11 both selected, okay? Go to insert. Now, this is where I'm going. 
and then go to recommend the chart and click on cluster column. That's what they wanted. Uh, I remember they wanted style number four. One, two, three, four. So this is it. I click on this. This is style number four. So you should see something like this. And it's got calculus 14.7, blah, blah, blah. So if you see this, that's great. Let's go ahead and bring this down to this blue area. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that it fits the blue box. Looks amazing. Okay. Now what? Um, Got to go back and read because they're going to tell you how to change the title and if they want any horizontal or vertical axis. So let's go back and read the instructions again. Instructions. Add a chart title and choose the above chart option. I never really have to add uh, the, the, the above chart option. It's always popped up there. I'm just going to go ahead and replace it with quality points by course. And you know how I do it. I copy and paste that title they want. Um, and they want you to add data labels and choose inside end option. Okay. Move and size the chart. Sorry. Move and resize the chart as needed so that the entire chart fits within cell D21 to K36, which I already did. Now, I'm about to do two things. I read two things that I haven't done yet. Um, first one is changing the chart title. Change the chart title to, I double click into it. I'm going to select the original title and just replace it by what I copied. I'm doing Command V on my uh, keyboard. So I changed the title to Quality Points by Course. Now, the second thing they wanted you to do was to add data labels. The second thing that I read was to add data labels. And it looks like it's already there. 14.7, um, 8.0, 10.0. The data labels are there, but um, I'll still click on it to show you how to add it in case you need to do that later. Okay, so click on the chart. Go to chart design. Click on the chart. Go to chart design. And then click on add chart element. Go over there. Now, this is what we use to add Ver uh, vertical axis title and horizontal axis title um, but I want to add data labels so one two three fourth one down it says data label and it says inside end that's what they wanted I think design number four automatically comes with this so the good news is even if you don't mess with this data label as long as you clicked on what style number four I think you, that's what it is so we're good we're really good so that's it. I already moved it to this blue area and I kind of enlarged it, resized it so that it fits this blue area. Um, what you want to do is you want to save this. Let's do that together. Save, save, save. I am done. And someone asked in our class, do I have to put orange highlights over? No, 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 you don't have to do that. But now we're about to save the file and submit for grading. I saved it in my download folder. So we go back to where we downloaded it. We downloaded the starting materials, check. We worked on our project, check. Uh, and then now this is where we are. Upload completed document. Click on choose file. Um, find the file that you just worked on. Um, this is it. Um, open it. And then click on upload. And then submit for grading. I won't be able to see what I got because I didn't really publish this assignment. Uh, but once you submit it, and wait a couple minutes. It's going to take a couple minutes for it to get graded. Um, it's going to show you the score. But I won't be able to see it in this video because it's not published yet. But if you if say that you didn't get 8 out of 8. You got like 7.5 out of 8 or 6 out of 8. You know where to go to, right? You go to student grade book. And then um, I guess right now you're not going to see it because I didn't publish it. But when you go to student gradebook, you should be able to click on it. And then you should be able to view the rubric. So I, I was able to do this in about 13 minutes. Um, some of the Excel assignments that we will do in the beginning of the semester will be quick. Um, but later, I want to show you some other things like using mixed cell reference or absolute cell reference. But I think this will fit perfectly with what we go over in section 2.2. But I'll do another one. Um, the second one that I want to go over is um, another GPA one. So we'll come back and do that one, but this is it for Excel Homework 2.1 GPA.